Exclaves are pieces of land separated from the rest of a country. An example is the Kaliningrad Exclave of Russia. Enclaves are similar, but are pieces of land completely surrounded by another country. Examples include Livia, Spain, which is inside of France, or San Marino, a country fully surrounded by Italy. However, enclaves and exclaves aren't only found on international borders. I have already looked at some of the counties of Ireland's strange borders, but none of these had complete enclaves or exclaves, only penny ones. To find an internal enclave and exclave, let's hop across the Celtic Sea to France. Provence Alps Côte d'Azur is a region in southeastern France, bordering Italy and Monaco. It is home to the cities of Marseille and Nice and is known for its varied terrain, stretching from the southern Alps to the beach resorts of the Mediterranean. It is further divided into six departments, the smallest of which is Vaucluse, in the northwest of the region. In Vaucluse, there is a large exclave of both the department and the region, which is an enclave within the Drôme department. It is separated from the rest of the department and region by 750 meters at its closest point. So why does this exclave exist? First, let's look at Avignon, the capital of the department of Vaucluse. From 1309 to 1376, seven popes who refused to live at the Vatican in Rome decided to live here instead. The area around Avignon was called Comtat Venaisin and became a papal territory in 1284. Many French rulers tried to annex the area into France and it finally joined in 1791, around the time of the revolution. The area around the village of Valrias was bought by Pope John XXII for the Papacy of Avignon in 1317. Legend tells that after a visit to the village, the Pope was feeling unwell until he tasted a local drink. He later bought the entire town to ensure a supply of it. Over the next 150 years, the enclave grew when surrounding villages were incorporated. The boundaries of the exclave were defined by stone markers, carrying the kosher vimes of the popes. Many can still be seen to this day, with some outside of the tourist office in Valrias. When the departments of France were created after the revolution, the people in the exclave requested for it to be made in Vaucluse, and it does to this day. The exclave is a canton within the department that is divided into four communes. The 125 square kilometer area is home to roughly 14,000 inhabitants. Valrias is the capital of the canton with a population of around 9,000. If you did decide for some reason to visit Valrias, what can you see there? Some sites include the Eglise Notre Dame de Nazareth, Torre Rebirth, the Chateau de Simeon Town Hall, and the Musée de Caixinaz et de l'Empereurmerie, which is a museum about cardboard boxes because Valrias was once the capital of the French cardboard box industry. Quite spot a museum doesn't seem so random anymore. If I somehow just sold you on going to Valrias, how do you get there? Avignon, which is one hour away, has an airport, but only weekly flights to Birmingham and Southampton. The nearest major airports are found in Marseille and Montpellier, which are both about an hour and a half away. There is no train station in Valrias, but you can take the train to Monte Lamar and get a bus from there. The canton of Valrias isn't the only strange internal border in France. The department of Nord has an exclave in Pas de Calais while Hoyt's Pyrenees has two major exclaves, enclaves, within Pyrenees Atlantiques. Also, don't forget about the Spanish town of Livia, which is completely enclaved within Pyrenees Orientales or North Catalonia. If you've any ideas for future videos, put them in the comment section below, and please subscribe for more on Ireland, Europe, and the world.